2015 has just been released and this Boost Your BIM video will take a look at how to upgrade our API programs that have been written for previous versions to run on this new release of Revit. If we look in the What's New file in the 2015 help, we'll see many cases where parts of the API that were valid and functioned properly in previous versions of Revit have been marked obsolete. Here, let's start with a simple example. This code we can take a look at does the following. It prompts the user to make a selection. We're going to assume in this case a user selects a model curve. If that curve is not an arc, we're going to exit. If it is an arc, we're going to get the two endpoints of the arc, create a straight line between those endpoints, and then create a new model curve using that line. I'll bring up Revit 2013 and run the command. Pick the arc, and we can see the new line that was created by the API. In 2014, the endpoint property and the new line bound method were both marked obsolete. We can see that in the 2014 API help file when we look at these two methods. The new line bound method says that it's been marked obsolete in 2014 and suggests that we use line.createBound instead. And similarly, the endpoint property on the curve has also been marked obsolete. And it says that we should use curve get endpoint instead. So while both of these were marked obsolete in 2014, they still continued to operate and just fine in the 2014 release. So the project that we're looking at here was written for 2013, which we can see if we look at the properties and look at the version of the DLLs that were being used, which was from the 2013 release of Revit. And that exact same DLL with no code changes at all can be used in 2014 as well. So even though those methods are obsolete, they still continue to function and nothing is needed at all to run the 2013 version of my program in here in Revit 2014. However, in 2015, those obsolete methods were removed. If we look here in the 2015 help file and we look at curve, we can see that the new get endpoint method now exists, but the endpoint property that we were using previously is no longer found. This, ob this method, which was uh, marked obsolete in 2014, has now been removed in 2015. We'll see the same thing if we look at the new line bound method. We can see here in the 2013 help file, new, the new line bound method existed. In 2014, New line bound still existed, but it had been marked obsolete. And now if we come to 2015, new line bound no longer exists at all. And instead we will need to use the line.createBound method instead. So in 2015, which we can see here, if I try and reference that same DLL that worked fine in 2013 and 2014, you see, as soon as the tool is invoked, we get this error message saying that there's a missing method exception and the method is not found to call curve get endpoint. Right? The code got to this line, didn't even prompt me to select the model curve, but this because this method no longer exists, the code's not going to be able to function in 2015 as it did in 2014 and 2013. In the next video, we'll look at how to solve this problem so that we can continue development of this application 
for multiple versions of Revit, but account for the fact that different versions, in this case, may or may not be able to use the endpoint property and new line bound, and instead we'll need to use the new options for get endpoint and line.create bound.